Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India are discussing a very very interesting uh, session that is about the experiential learning and uh, importance of experiential learning, uh, principles of experiential learning and the always uh, experiential learning theory and learning styles. How can online learning help with the experiential learning? Uh, how corporate companies use the experiential learning? Conventional learning versus the experience learning? Is experiential learning the future of learning? Uh, then the as usual the case study, research papers uh, and the book recommendations. So, first we will uh, try to understand that is what is the exactly the experiential learning is there, right. So, means involving or based on the experience and observations are there, right. So, it is the individual. Uh, so, many times the people said it is the whether the uh, MBA is necessary, some people say no MBA is not necessary, many people are there, those who are very successful leaders, but they are not a MBA, right. So, therefore, then how they have become successful. So, that is about the experiential learning is there. So, what Whatever their life's experiences were they have, they have used uh, as a uh, that is we say that is a life is like a book right and therefore they have used uh, those experiences and uh, taking the decisions on the basis of the past experiences and this way the experiential learning is uh, taken uh, uh, has uh, uh, leaded uh, the, uh, the leaders right. So, experiential learning is the process of learning through experience and is more narrowly defined as learning through reflection on doing. So, whatever the actions are uh, done, so they have taken the decisions on basis of that the past uh, success and failures are there. So, it is not uh, uh, limited to hands on laboratory experiments, internships, uh, practicums, field ex exercises, study abroad, undergraduate research and the studio performances are there. No, no, this is not the limited to this one only that what they have done during their this type of this uh, academic uh, uh, learning is there, right. While the, they, the, the whatever the, the tacit knowledge the tacit knowledge which they have used for the purpose of this getting this uh, particular learning. So, uh, here uh, that whatever they have done the uh, acting right. So, act and on basis of that act uh, the decisions which they have taken right. So, therefore, those decisions uh, are giving them certain experience just this like simple example is to trust or not to trust. So, this will be the just in a decision. And therefore, the, when the decisions are uh, the, they are, are very uh, you know, positive, so they will continue and they are, they are not positive, then they will stop uh, that particular act, acting will be different, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, um, the experiential learning fosters development of self and organization is there. And uh, the, the strength of the experiential learning is this, suppose you are working into a particular X company. And there uh, you are going through all this literature and laboratory experiments and the, uh, the primary data and the secondary data and all. But uh, in that case, uh, whatever they are having these uh, the development of uh, uh, self uh, while doing in that particular department section with that particular person right. And therefore, what type of the uh, how Mr. X will behave right that you learn from the experiential learning is there right. So, therefore, or what my father will say if I do this right. So, therefore, in that case that will be the experiential learning. In knowledge and skills breadth and depth of understanding which ultimately results in increased self confidence and the esteem is there right. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is always becoming the better uh, uh, understanding of the people and because that is a first hand experience is there. It brings about the perfection in the performance of job and therefore, uh, you become the perfect one. It helps employees gain in status and enables individuals to move into more prestigious social roles and better rewarded jobs are there, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, it will be becoming the very, very important uh, that is the whatever the prestigious uh, uh, social roles are there, 
yeah, and whatever the rewards have been gained by the particular person. Um, so, therefore, that, that will be making him the learning. It helps employees also, right? So therefore, in that case, uh, uh, whenever they are, they are uh, making this particular uh, performance or experience at the workplace, as I was saying, like that is the Mr. X. So that Mr. X is well known to you. So therefore, in that case, uh, uh, that particular understanding that will be much more, right? Than from the any secondary data is concerned. It provides a competitive advantage for the survival and the progress is there. Right. So, the, uh, in the within organizations, you know how to handle. It facilitates organizational change and development also, uh, because the your experiential learning, you know what will be the future of the uh, this organization, what changes are to be made to be more effective. So, therefore, organization will develop. It helps in maintaining better relations with suppliers and customers and dealers because the already you are having the, the expense. In meeting challenges faced by the organization, no, you see every organization is having its own history and in that particular history that they have to um, exercise, they have exercised uh, that how that uh, problem uh, or issue uh, has been resolved what were that those challenges and how the organizations have overcome those challenges. And that experience you know, uh, that experience cannot come uh, 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 the, that uh, uh, without any uh, uh, the, um, uh, the whatever the uh, efforts are made, right. So, it will not you will not gain that, uh, the, that experience uh, without uh, uh, the whatever the your intellectual ability, your knowledge, your skills which you have put on overcome that particular challenge and then you have won that particular challenge and make your organization su uh, sustainable. So, therefore, in that case uh, that uh, that whatever the challenges is faced by the organization and the, the team which has worked during that particular uh, challenges, uh, the, they can never be uh, compensated by any other uh, source of knowledge, right. So, therefore, going to the zoo to a very interesting example has been given here learn about animals through observation instead of reading about them hmm? and uh, growing a garden to learn about the uh, photosynthesis instead of watching a movie about it uh, or hoping on a bicycle to try and learn to ride uh, in, instead of the listening to your parent, uh, parent explain the concept is there, right. So, therefore, the every activity like uh, this uh, um, uh, riding, uh, swimming, right. So, driving, so, here uh, we, we can, uh, can we have that uh, learning uh, by reading from the books, right. So, therefore, for the effective swimming you have to enter into the water, right. For the effective driving you have to make the practice of this driving and uh, for, for, for the purpose of the uh, any, any managerial effectiveness purposes, uh, you, you have to make a first hand experience. Right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, that uh, all these uh, uh, the first hand experiences uh, which will tell you. Right? So, therefore, in the swimming in the case of swimming you will not be uh, able to swim if you have not uh, done or exercise or practice earlier and you have not swim yourself. Right. So, therefore, in, in that case by uh, sitting at the edges uh, swimming cannot be learned right you have to enter and that is that, that is becoming this uh, particular uh, experiential learning is there. Now, it stands in contrast to the prominent theories of learning which underpin most traditional educational methods like the behavioralism and the implicit learning is there. So, therefore, there is has been the many contrast theories are there, right. So, uh, uh, here the experiential learning brings a different theoretical perspective as well seen in the following principle. So, focus on the learning process rather than the outcomes are there. So, this is very, very important. And that is why many times we say the students that is the do not focus on the marks, focus on the knowledge. The what knowledge you gain during your uh, uh, learning in the classroom. So, behavioral conceptualization of learning suggests you can measure effectiveness of learning by the number of facts or habits a person has learned in response to stimulus questions uh, are the conditions are there. And therefore, in that case this uh, particular uh, stimulus that will help the, uh, uh, the learning right. Uh, so, whatever the person is uh, uh, have come across. And these elements of thought or ideas are fixed and the goal is acquiring more of them. So, experiential learning suggests that ideas are not fixed, rather they form and reform through experiences there. So, when you join an organization, 
Mm? So, then uh, that uh, you are a trainee and you join an organization. So, you have the different image of the uh, uh, working culture, working practices, working positions, right. But when you go through that uh, organization's culture, organization's practices, right, organization's positions, and then, then you, you form your, uh, on basis of your experience, you form the different thought is there. So, therefore, in that case, this process of the thought process which has been developed with the experience, um, that also becomes very strong. Um, so, uh, it is the, the process of learning is grounded in experience. The implementing, testing, evaluating and refining ideas exclusively with reference to fam familiar experiences does not present an opportunity for learning because experience must violate expectations uh, uh, to hold values. So, as a result, education involves refining and modifying the old ideas as well as implanting the new ones are there. And experience is the vehicle through which uh, this process can take place is there. So, therefore, mm, the education involves refining and modifying the old ideas, right, and uh, as well as implanting the new ideas are there. But these new ideas that you have to experience, when you will be experiencing the new ideas, then again you will develop your own thought process. That is the, whether the, this new methodology, new system um, and when you will be uh, implementing, exercising, right, going to the familiar with that particular experience, then only you will be able to understand uh, how much it will work or it will not work. So, that is why it is a transactional taking place between the environment and the learner is there. The resulting experience and knowledge is applicable in wider context uh, due to the fact that the knowledge is the result of testing and refining theories rather than learning by rote. So, therefore, in that case uh, it is always, always the refining the theories are there because the new input will come the research will be done, new input will come and therefore, in that case uh, you, you have to identify that is the what will work uh, in this particular context and uh, so you will keep on uh, defining your theories are there. Now, the calls uh, experiential learning theory and learning style is there uh, and therefore, um, now uh, there are the two parts of calls experiential learning theory. First is that learning follows a four stage cycle as outlined here and the core believe that the ideally learners progress through these stages to complete a cycle and as a result transform their experiences into knowledge is there. Now, what is the cycle is there? So, active experimentation is there, concrete experience is there, reflective observation is there, abstract conceptualization is there. So, whenever we are talking about the active exper uh, ex uh, experimentation, so planning or trying out what was the learned, right? And there, whatever the concrete experience is there, uh, doing or having an experience, right? So, naturally, uh, as uh, we were talking about, that is the uh, whatever you are planning, right? And then uh, whatever you do, so there will be the reflective observations. Reflective observations are the on the experience basis will be there. That is what whatever the concrete experience uh, you had, so that will give you that particular uh, on the uh, reflective experience will be observations will give you on um, that particular experience. And the abstract conceptualization will be there, and therefore uh, you are you are concluding your, your learning from the experiences there. So, uh, it is the, uh, uh, the while the second part is about the cognitive processes that occurred in order for the acquiring knowledge is there. So, uh, in that case, uh, this cognitive part, right, that is about the conceptualization, observations and conceptualization is there. Whenever the, uh, any individual, when he is having um, these observations and then on basis of these observations you will find that is the whatever the, uh, the he, he, he conceptualize hmm? and like uh, my experience says so right and this will work that will not work when the experienced people are there. So, then uh, they, what we say it is the experienced people they have conceptualized, conceptualized by doing because they are experienced. So, we can learn from the others experience also. So, Kolb's learning cycle is based on the gene pigets uh, focus on the fact that uh, learners create knowledge through interactions with the, with the environment is there. So, that is why it is a transactional process is there, that is a, a transaction between the uh, individual and the environment is there. So, this can either be a completely new experience or a reimagined uh, re uh, experience that already happened 
right. So, therefore, in that case uh, any experience either it will be a new experience will be there at least people will be new, process will be new, technology will be new or that is the experience which is already is there per. So, every year you are doing the same thing. So, and your group has not changed. So, people are also same. In a concrete experience each learner engages in an activity or task. So, Kolbe believed that the key to learning is the involvement is there. This stage in the learning cycle allows the learner to ask questions and discuss the experience with others. So, communication at this stage is vital as it allows the learner to identify and discrepancies between their understanding and the experience itself is there, right. So, therefore, concrete experience is there and each learner engaged in an activity or task while in the case of the reflective organization is concerned, right. That is the, uh, he, he is allowed to ask the questions. Well, it was not in the case of the concrete experiences there and, and discuss the experience with others. So, in, in this stage, so therefore, in that case, when the discrepancies between their understanding and the experience itself is there, because there are the other people are involved. Well, in case of the concrete experience is concerned, that is you yourself is involved. So, learner is engaged in an activity and task, while here the learner is engaged uh, uh, with the other people also, right. So, therefore, in that case, uh, uh, it, it is it, it is the interaction between two, while in the case of the concrete, it was the one single learner was there. Uh, third one step is the abstract conceptualization. The learner attempts to draw conclusions of the experience by reflecting on their prior knowledge. So, always right. So, therefore, whatever the experience the person is having, so there will be the prior knowledge will be there. Using ideas with which they are familiar or discussing possible theories with peers is there. So, they will be discussing the all the on uh, discussing the possible theories which will be applicable here. The learner moves from reflective observation to abstract conceptualization. Right. So, therefore, now it, it is the uh, he takes the crux out of that and when they begin to classify concepts and form conclusions on the events that uh, occurred is there and therefore, they relate it that is the whatever the event was there and on basis of that event uh, how it has been occurred. So, therefore, in that case uh, always the reflective observation is on the basis of that particular phase in which the person has passed through. In the active experimentation is concerned. So, this stage in the cycle is the testing stage, learners return to participating in a task. This time with the goal of applying their conclusions to new experiences is there. So, they are able to make predictions, analysis, task and make plans for the acquired knowledge in the future is there. Because they have the, have the concrete experience and therefore, in that case when, when they second time second time enter into that particular experience. So, they are already having the data with them, they are already having the knowledge with them, they are already having the um, what worked and what uh, what uh, did not work. So, therefore, in that case do's and do nots basically. So, therefore, it is the whatever the task is there, they make the plans for the acquired knowledge uh, and then accordingly in the future they will be deciding. So, um, abstract conceptualization is thinking and the active experimentation is doing. Right. So, then it, it is the whatever you are thinking and then you will going further doing it. So, that is the converging is there right and whatever you are doing and then you are feeling it concrete experience is there that is a, uh, uh, then it is the accommodating is there feel and do is there whatever you are feeling and then reflective observation is there then that is the diverging is there and whatever the uh, reflective observation is there and the abstract conceptualization is there assimilating is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, that is the think and watch is there right. So, therefore, in that case all these phase, uh, phases converging, accommodating, diverging and assimilating is concerned. So, here uh, we think always uh, that learning uh, style uh, that decides about that is the how the person with the help of the experimentation and then he can conceptualize the situations. Uh, diverging are a con concrete experience reflective observation, this learning style takes an original and creative approach rather than the examining the concrete experiences by the actions taken. Individuals tend to assess them from the various perspective is there. And now, you now here is another one more point I would like to add here that is the individual's perspective. Now, the individual perspective it itself will depend on the individual. So, whatever the personality he is having, whatever the, uh, the uh, he is uh, uh, the past experience he is having, what type of the uh, environment uh, he was having. So, therefore, all these diverging concrete experience will be reflective observation will be by the actions taken by the individuals will be there. Who were the colleagues? 
right and how they have because I am talking in the context of the uh, negotiation. So, when we are talking about the negotiation it will very much uh, on the basis of uh, uh, the when you are going for the negotiation with the union. So, your past experience whatever you are having the diverging and concrete experience that will help you. So, active experimentation highlights the problem solving in an approach to learning is there. So, naturally in the past suppose that negotiation or wage agreement uh, whatever the problems were faced this time you will try to avoid those problems. So, individuals who prefer this learning style are able to make decisions and apply their ideas to new experiences. Unlike divergers they tend to avoid people and perceptions uh, choosing instead to find a technical solutions. So, therefore, uh, uh, now, now here you see that is those who have been the successful basically it is a question of success and failures and those who are successful. So, they apply their ideas to new experiences is good, right, but those who have been the failure of earlier. So, they avoid the people and perceptions and then they, they want to use these uh, technical solutions for this particular uh, problem whatever the problem they have faced. Assimilating the abstract conceptualization and reflective observation is there. This learning style emphasizes reasoning. Individuals who demonstrate this learning style are able to review the facts and assess the experience as a whole. Accommodating is there, concrete experience of the active experimentation is there and this learning style is adaptable and intuitive and these individuals use trial and error to guide their experiences uh, preferring to discover the answers for themselves, right. So, therefore, they are able to alter their path based on the circumstances and generally have the good people skill is there. So, their accommodating is there. So, in case of the assimilating is uh, concerned that is the they review the facts and assess the experience as a whole right while in the case of the accommodating is concerned. So, they, they are having the concrete experience and they very much uh, active experimentation is there right. So, therefore, they, their circumstances generally have the good people skills will be there. How can online learning help with experiential learning? So, they are now this is very interesting that is the what uh, we are uh, uh, talk, uh, uh, doing. So, therefore, how this online learning will help uh, with the experiential learning. So, many of you are having the experiential learning and uh, executives in the industries. So, you you know that is the how to work, but this is how online learning will help you. Uh, uh, similar is the concrete experiences. Online learning provides an awesome platform for recreating real world tasks like the case studies are there all within the safety of virtual reality and these experiences can take many forms within online training such as learning games or the game based learning is there. Provide opportunities for the reflection. So, provide ample opportunity within the training for reflection. Following a piece of learning or the simulated experience uh, you could include open ended quiz questions that invite learners to consider and evaluate their experiences. So, do not forget to give learners the chance to try the try again. So, through simulated experiences uh, simulations are done. So, reflective questions and social learning everyone will be eager uh, to try out their new skills will be there. So, learn from each other through social learning. Another important factor in the reflective observation stage of experiential learning is observing e learning from the experience of others are there, right. So, therefore, how corporate companies are using the experiential learning is there. So, some activities and approaches that you can uh, consider here now uh, experiential learning simulations is there. So, experiential uh, 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 training techniques uses electronic, mechanical or software based activities to simulate a real world situation to which a learner must react. Then this case studies uh, and these are the great examples of the experiential learning that are based on the real life uh, instances situations that have transpired in the um, uh, past. Then the role playing is there these are the experiential training activities designed to help employees appreciate specific work situations from perspective different than their own. Sensitivity training is there one highly effective to experiential training strategy to enhance employee self awareness and confidence is sensitivity training. Gaming is there uh, experiential learning games are a popular way to help employees learn by doing. So, the games can be organized in a way that individuals and groups play with the each other and to uh, either collaborating or com competing like in the real world is there. So, therefore, where, where, where it is the uh, case simulation is there, case study is there, business games are there, role playing is there, sensitivity training is there. So, uh, all these uh, aspects uh, uh, that will giving you this uh, experiential learning is there. On the job training of course, that will be give you the experiential learning strategies out there is but the one that offers the most realistic training exercises are there. 
So, finally, we will come towards the uh, conventional learning versus the experiential learning. So, conventional learning is the targeted training targeted solved in its frame uh, because focus on that particular learning only for the needs of the organization knowledge transfer is there and uh, conferences, presentations, etcetera. So, therefore, that will be conventional learning. Whenever we are talking about the experiential learning, theoretical learning, very practical, open and flexible for personal growth, uh, knowledge usually develops uh, and examples of the hobbies uh, and the patients, etcetera are there. So, is the experiential learning in the future of learning? There are eight reasons why experiential learning in the future of learning. Uh, is accelerates the learning, experience learning provides a safe learning environment because then because already you have that experience. So, therefore, you know this time what to do not to do. Experiential learning bridges the gap between the theory and practice. Uh, experiential learning produces demonstrable mindset changes and experiential learning increases the engagement levels of the employees are concerned. It provides the accurate assessment results, uh, uh, experiential learning enables personalized learning and experiential learning delivers the exceptional return on the investment is there and that is the ROI is there. Uh, as usual, this is the case study increasing the employability of Indian engineering graduates through experiential learning programs and the competitive program is there. So, this is the very, very interesting case study, right. Uh, uh, the, this case study will uh, uh, giving, giving us uh, the idea that is the how this experiential learning uh, program and competitive programming that can help us, right. So, uh, impl uh, implementation of initiatives in experiential learning programs and competitive programming in a private university is highlighted. An experiential learning program title leave in labs as part of the curriculum is uh, exposed. It is courses such as the human centered design concepts to document observations and user experiences, user need assessments is here. And uh, strong maybe for this use and the peers, uh, right, that is the program outcomes are there and course outcomes uh, inherent in the experiential learning program improves the compliability and also the progression and the prospects of the students are there. These are the, this is a detail in the case study that is the how uh, the experiential learning has been used uh, uh, in case of uh, uh, the, the uh, industries uh, uh, for uh, in the universities uh, that is the how these uh, they, they can collaborate and they can understand by having the type of the particular learning is there. So, uh, uh, this, this is the research paper. Now, the experiential learning inspiring the business leaders of tomorrow, right. So, therefore, uh, they need to because, because what is that that is the the the, uh, the some uh, uh, the managers uh, those who are already experienced. So, they will be sharing that is the for tomorrow uh, how this uh, uh, the business leaders uh, uh, the, uh, those who are uh, 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 after their uh, education after some some years uh, few years of uh, beginning of the careers when they are becoming the leaders then how they this experiential learning will be helping them. So, these uh, to into the education of future business leaders has never been more urgent. The purpose of this paper is to discuss different approaches taken by two UK secretaries to the UN principles of responsible management uh, education is concerned. To work with the social entrepreneurs and are the responsible business professionals provides the business students with the inspirational role models and positive social learning opportunities are there. And therefore, when we talk now about this uh, summer intern is there, that is a summer training is given or uh, that we are talking about the involved into the life projects and especially the uh, society focused life project. The, the society focused life projects are those projects uh, uh, where they visit to the villages and uh, when I was in Triple IT in Goli, at that time we have done this type of the number of projects. So, therefore, the students have went to um, the uh, villages and they, they, they have to uh, do the social uh, work. And from there, they, when they come back and they, they share with the class, that is the what was their learning is there, uh, and what is the uh, with the industries also in the CSR also corporate social responsibilities also. So therefore, in that case, students with the inspirational role models they will work and and therefore that is social learning opportunities uh, and they avail. So, this paper uh, suggests that uh, experiential learning is an effective way of integrating ethics, responsibility and sustainability into the curriculum, but the research draws on the experience of two schools. Further research is important to explore these findings uh, right in other context also. 
So, this is the book, Experiential Learning is there, and Handbook of the Education, Training and Coaching by the Colin Ward and the John Wilson, right. And in this book, uh, it represents a simple model of learning combination log, which illustrates the wide range of factors that can be altered to enhance the learning experiences there. So, experiential learning offers the skills that can be successfully applied to a variety of settings including the management education, corporate training, team building, youth development for counseling and therapy, schools in higher education and the special needs training is concerned. So, this book will be helping you uh, with the uh, to understand more in detail about the experiential learning. These are the references which you can refer for your further studies and, uh, and this is all about that is the how the experiential learning that helps a person in addition to learning through online and other secondary data or the classroom learning skills. Thank you.